Today on Newsbreak. What will the first week of Christmas break look like? Jake and Boss won the forecast. We all messed up now and then, even all of us here at Newsbreak. Today we're checking out some of our best bloopers. All this and more on this Wednesday, December 17, 2014. Good afternoon, SHS. I'm Luke Zuber. My name is Jeff. We are starting with our top story today. We are talking about the dance marathon event that will be held here in January. Seventh grader Owen McKim will be one of the children benefiting from the money raised and he is talking about the marathon dance. Hello Spirit Lake High School. I am Owen McKim from the seventh grade in the Spirit Lake Middle School. My good friend Alex Pregnance asked me to talk to you today about the dance marathon. Uh, the dance marathon helps raise money for the University of Iowa Children's Hospitals in Iowa City. It raises money to buy stuff like Legos, movies, and books to keep us kids enter entertained and to keep our attention on the doctors. Um, I loved the stuff when I was younger. Um, so come to the high school and hear my story and maybe... There will be some partying, too, and pizza. Come and get the pizza. See you real soon. Now we have Alex Pregnison with us with a little heads up on the dance marathon. Alex, when is the dance marathon? Uh, the dance marathon is going to be held on January 2nd from 6 to 11, so it's during break, but we don't have school that day. Okay. So what is the goal of doing the dance marathon? Uh, last year we raised about $1,700, and... Hopefully we raise more this year, and I also want to get a lot of kids involved and get a lot of people showing up to the event. Where does all that money go? Uh, all the money goes to the Iowa City Children's Hosp Hospital through um, Iowa State Dance Marathon, and it also helps the Children's Miracle Network, so it helps a lot of kids who are in the hospital sick a lot of the time. That's awesome. It's a noble cause. Well, now I'll send it over to Jacob Boss with today's weather. All right, thanks guys. Take a look at the weather headlines today. We're continuing with that cold air out there. Another very cold morning this morning. We're continuing with, with that with the rest of the week. And then going into tomorrow morning, there could be some flurries around the area. Going into tonight and then into the morning hours tomorrow. So not a big deal at all. Then going into the 30s by the weekend. So it'll be a little bit nicer outside. It'll be a little bit warmer out there. Then that Monday system comes in. It looks like it could be going to Sunday just a little bit and into Tuesday as well. Some snow is going to be possible during that time. So we'll watch that for travel concerns. And other than that, for Christmas travel concerns, we're watching for the day after Christmas now. It looks a little bit later on than Christmas Day, but uh, right before and right after Christmas could be some concerns as far as snow goes. So we'll watch that. High 23 today, a little 11 tonight with those snow flurries around. Maybe a couple light snow showers, but not a huge deal at all. Then taking a look at the seven-day forecast, you do see we're warm out there by the weekend. And that system comes in for Sunday, 30% chance of mixed precip there. We're going to be at 36 on Monday, so there will be some mixed precip around. But mainly snow, it looks like, for this system. And then by Tuesday, it's turning over to all snow with a high of 30. But for now, back to you guys. Let's we'll send over sports with Katie Browning. The boys and girls basketball teams were in action last night down in Western Christian. Starting with the JV girls, the team was behind the entire game, and Western expanded their lead in the second half. Western went on to win 70-33. It was an exciting boys' JV game last night. The boys were up by 13 at halftime. The game became close in the final minutes, and the game would go into overtime. The last-minute shot, last shot by Jake Heitner put, up, put the game into double overtime. Spirit Lake would eventually fall 62-54. The varsity girls faced Western Christian next. Western took the lead early. Spirit Lake remained behind throughout the game and was defeated 66 to 32. The varsity boys took the court last night and Western hit some threes early to take the lead. The lead would continue through the second half and Spirit Lake fell 78 to 41. That is the look at your sports. Back to you guys. Let's send it over to Jacob. Oh, why not send it over to Jacob already? I'm not sorry though. We almost saw. Well, let's look at the greatest bloopers we've had this year. Agree to that. I was I know how to catch it. <laughs> let's take a look at your notes. <laughs> what are you laughing for? It's so fast. It's like <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> okay, more lock. We got up on our trip to Sioux City Thursday. And Jacob Boss about the latest details on this weekend's tour. Go there this week. Oh, oh so warm. It's much in a There will be meaning for anyone interested in your discipline. Potato salad. <laughs> 
Tongue is actually the weight of an elephant, full grown elephant. Wow, that is, that is how big is full grown elephant? Full grown. It's what do you say? What? <laughs> 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 All right, guys, which American state was the first to make Christmas an official holiday? C or A? <laughs> <laughs> What's your deal? <laughs> little reminder, SLHS, to use the hashtag SLJTERM during JTERM to get some things on Newsbreak. I really like that ugly sweater you have. You do? I mean, yeah. I didn't really think it was an ugly sweater, but. I mean, it is what it is. Okay. Opinions. Opinions. Yeah. Yours is really. I did it mine. Pretty. You did it? Yeah. Wow, that's, that's. Clouds and all that. That's nice. Okay. Well, how long is it going to be before we see? It's going to be a new year next time we see them. Well, that's all the time we have for this year, SLHS. Thank you for watching Newsbreak. You have a great